I've been reading about the importance of oral health and systemic health, dental problems with health problems for many, many years now. And there is one thing that's always stuck in the back of my mind that I think it's a question of interpretation of what words mean. And when we hear that somebody has tooth problems or dental problems or oral health issues, most people will usually think about gingivitis, gum disease, tooth decay, maybe a fractured tooth. Mostly they will think that they are naturally occurring problems that happened due to the lack of proper care on behalf of the patient. But that's not always true. You see, in over 25 years of being a dentist, most of the problems that I see are related to old or outdated dental treatments. So as we evolve into dentistry and as dentistry becomes more ubiquitous and more people are now looking to upgrade their oral health thanks to new technologies and new methodologies and new science. It is important to also understand that most dental related issues today around the world in patients over 35, let's say, are mostly related to old or outdated dental treatments or ones that were poorly executed uh, due to bad planning or poor quality material selection. So it is very important that when we talk about dental related problems in the broader medical community, we don't just think about gum disease and or tooth decay, which are the result of bad or poor brushing and sugar, but also the result of outdated methods. And unfortunately, most poor quality dentistry causes no pain or discomfort to the patient but can lead to serious systemic issues. So if you're looking to upgrade your dentistry, make sure you get a full mouth panoramic and or CBCT with a doctor that works with a deep knowledge of how to upgrade your teeth, your smile, and your systemic health through extraordinary dentistry because there's a deep impact in the way that is done and your systemic health.